Welcome back, everyone. It's the Bourbon Judge. Hey, before we get started today, real quick, huge shout out to my newest patron, Nathaniel H. Uh, Nathaniel, really appreciate you, my man. Thanks for becoming a patron and supporting the Bourbon Judge, as well as for all my other patrons as well. Really appreciate all the support, all the love. Um, we always, honestly, we have a blast just kind of going back and forth with a whole bunch of fun, like just different uh, content and just and so forth. So really appreciate you. And thanks again, Nathaniel. All right. So it's getting warm outside. I know here in the Northeast, even today, it was like 95 degrees. So two weeks ago, I had my heat on. <laughs> two weeks later, I have the AC on just like that. So I guess we no longer even get uh, a spring. It's pretty much winter and summer, at least in the Northeast. So, hey, temperatures are up. That means at least for the bourbon judge, the proof is coming down. So I'm gonna give you five whiskeys to start off the summer. Just five, just different ideas. These, by the way, I will say, they're not in order of like preference, like, you know, I like number one better than I like number two, three, and, and so forth. These are just five great whiskeys to kick off the summer. Um, I did an episode, I think it was last year actually at this time, and I'll fly in those choices from the, the last video I did. But for the 2022 version, I have five great options. Of course, I'm gonna end it with an asterisk. That's just how I roll. You guys all know me. And uh, I am going to go in order of proof though. So just in order of proof. Again, not in order of preference. All right, you ready? <laughs> I'm ready. All right, coming in with number one, we have uh, Penelope Bourbon. This is the four grain 80 proof Penelope bourbon. I actually just had on uh, Mike and Danny from Penelope bourbon on my channel live just a couple weeks ago, almost like maybe a month ago. Great guys making some really good whiskey or, you know, obviously sourcing it from MGP, but blending it and doing a, a fantastic job for an 80 proof whiskey. To me, as I even said, I think during the live stream, this sips much closer to like a 88, almost 90 proof. And honestly, from a, a summertime looking for a great whiskey, at least maybe as it's nice and hot out, this is a fantastic pour. Nice and light, yet sweet and crisp all at the same time. I love that about it. So plus, hey. They're Jersey guys, just like me. So I, I, I have to include my uh, my good friends. But no, that's actually a great bottle. It really is. So and very affordable as well. So Penelope Bourbon, the 80 proof. All right, coming in at number two. Woo, number two. So if if you know the Bourbon Judge, you know how much I love this distillery. How much I love the brand. I mean, hell, I just picked them as my first barrel pick of uh, for the Bourbon Judge for my channel as a whole. So this is the uh, Woodenville Small Batch, the 90 proof Woodenville. Absolutely an amazing bottle. And I mean, day in, day out, you know the quality you're getting with Woodenville with each and every pour. That's the reason why I wanted to have this one on the list. It's quality whiskey, great price. Both of these less than $50, by the way. I mean, honestly, amazing juice. And at 90 proof, this, this actually packs a really good punch. Not like super strong, but nice and uh, well-rounded as a whole. So give it up for Woodenville as number two. All right, coming in number three. So for me, when it's warm out, sometimes I want something a smidge sweeter than normal. And why not make it sweeter and have even a rye? Yes, they can happen together, a rye being sweet. Down the road for me in Baltimore, Maryland, Sagamore Spirits Rum Cash Finish. So this one just came out in the last couple of months. Um, I had the owner of uh, Sagamore on the channel, did an interview with him. Oh, you want to talk about an amazing distillery by themselves and then also an amazing bottle? This Sagamore rum is absolutely fantastic, especially as it gets summer out, summer time out. It's nice and warm. You want something to, uh, to sip and enjoy a great rye, maybe slightly on the sweeter side. This is a fantastic pour neat. It's a fantastic pour. I even had it with a cigar. Uh, this is actually my second bottle of it. I mean, it's only been out for a couple of months. So I think that kind of <laughs> speaks volume of how much I really enjoy this. This one coming in at 98 proof, right? Yep, 98 proof. An amazing bottle for, I think it cost me like 60, maybe $62. Fantastic bottle, easily affordable, and you can find it all over, which I like that by itself as well. All right. Two down, or three down, two to go, plus the asterisk. I need three quick, easy favors. Number one, hit the like button. Number two, drop me a comment. Let me know what are like five different whiskeys that you're looking forward to enjoying during the summertime. And last but not least, please make sure you subscribe and hit the bell so you get notifications each and every time I produce new content. Cool? All right. Number four, 
budget friendly, budget friendly, budget friendly, and consistent. And damn good, by the way, also. Old Forester 100. Sub $30 bottle. Old Forester, everything they put out is always fantastic. I mean, there, there's nothing that Old Forester puts out that's not good. Let's just keep it real. And for a sub $30 bottle at 100 proof, this is an amazing bottle that you can get for the most part. I'm not saying every store, but the majority of liquor stores, the majority of at least, you know, larger liquor stores. Great quality, day in, day out. Old Forester 100, just one of Brown Foreman's best products out there, hands down, easily. All right. Number five. So I figure, why not? Why, we already have one rye. Let's add one more rye to the list. And when you think about this one, now this one kicks it up from a heat standpoint. This might be the only one of the list it is that is actually above a hundred proof. Some of those nights are cooler nights. Even like last night, for example, after even though it was a little hot last night, even for me, sun went down. It was nice and cool out. Sitting outside on the screen and porch, I had this first neat. I enjoyed it and I had it with a cigar and let me just tell you it is phenomenal with this with a cigar none other than my number this is my number two rye whiskey of 2021 barrel seagrass Ugh, also known as an explosion of fruit in your mouth in your mouth an explosion of fruit literally this bad boy coming in at 118.4 proof so the only one above 100 proof because this one's right at 100 but the only one that really packs a punch but honestly even though it packs a punch because it's such a berry and fruit forward rye whiskey it really doesn't uh it is not super overwhelming from a proof standpoint and again i sipped it at nighttime it was nice and just crisp and sweet and oh, it goes so well with the cigar, so well. So my friends, we are at the end of the road. You're probably wondering, Bourbon Judge, what is the asterisk and why? Well, I love all five of these very much. This one, I'm putting it as the asterisk because it's definitely harder to find. Uh, if you do find it, typically it's marked up a little bit more, like in the $100, $110 range, unfortunately, even though it's only like an $80 bottle. Uh, but it's fantastic, and it comes from one of my favorite distilleries out there, hands down. I love this whiskey. <laughs> my asterisk is Shinx. Now, I picked the 2020 release. You can pick, honestly, any year, but Shinx, Via, obviously, Mictors, this is produced by Mictors Distillery. They make fantastic, fantastic whiskey. I love, and I mean, love me some shinks. In fact, I'm gonna go ahead and pour it as well because I love it that, mu that much. 2020 release came in right at 91.2 proof. So 91.2, get a nice little pour here. Hey, my friends, I say this each and every week, and you guys know me, I mean it, honestly, peace. Cheers, salute. Woo! Never lets me down. Peace out, everyone. Take care.